Grey Nichols is the only brand to control the entire bat making process. From planting English willow to delivering cricket bats to international players, Grey Nichols is there every step of the way. Grey Nichols manufacture all top end cricket bats for Australia and New Zealand from its Australian based factory located in Melbourne, Victoria. Every piece is docked and the face machined to the legal width. Once this stage has been completed, all bats are graded to the quality that Grey Nichols expects. Once graded, the pressing process starts. As you can see, the willow is moving very slowly through a three roller press, which is applying around five and a half thousand pounds per square inch of pressure. It has to be done at a very slow rate to ensure no cracking or lifting of the surface. Once the bat is pressed, the blade is spliced and the handle is fitted. This is possibly the most important part of manufacturing a cricket bat. The correct fitting of the splice is imperative to allow the impact of a ball coming at 160 kilometres or 100 miles an hour to hit the bat without the splice coming out. At this stage, once the glue has dried, the shoulders are machined and the handle length is specified. This also ensures a nice central fit. Now the length of the blade is being cut to either a short handled size men's bat or a long blade. This is where all the handwork starts and where the expertise of the Grey Nichols bat makers comes into play. The years of experience of the Grey Nichols bat makers have made it an art form. The shaping of the handle, blade and toe play a very important part in determining the balance of the bat. The handle must be shaped properly to ensure a great feel in the hands. When shaping the blade, the bat makers need to reduce the weight where they can, while keeping the bat as powerful as possible. Shaping the toe is important, as it is the highest impact region of the bat. The Grey Nichols bat makers know exactly how much willow they can take off in this area. The next step is sanding. This is where the bat gets its nice shaped edges, smoothness and detail. Orbital sanding at this stage is what creates the smooth finish on a Grey Nichols bat. Every bat in the factory is boned to harden the edges and then fine sanded to ensure there are no imperfections. It is polished with a beeswax compound to keep out any moisture while the cricket bat is in store. Now the binding starts. This process ensures the handle is held together tightly and the shoulder will not split. Stickers are applied to the final product. It is tested, insured for rebound and is now ready for the store.